Hi, welcome to Not Sports presentation about our impact absorbing playground surfacing system, Child's Play. The aim of the presentation is to give you an overview and understanding of all the benefits that Not Sport can provide through our playground system. We can illustrate where it can be used across a range of different applications and the benefits that, that it brings to the users and to you as a customer. First, let's give a little bit of background about Not Sport. We're a leading specialist in the design, advice and supply of impact absorbing safety surfacing systems for play, sport and leisure. We've been around since 1984, so we've got over 36 years experience in providing turf solutions for playgrounds, multi-use games areas, cricket and sports facilities. We're committed to providing effective, innovative solutions to you as customers for all your surfacing needs. And we're the only company who can provide a proven and valid funding solution to the education marketplace. We call it Fast Track Funding. Over that 36, now nearly 37 years experience, we've built up some strong relationships with the authorities and governing bodies for sport, play and recreation. We work in partnership, adhering to the regulations issued by organisations such as Play Scotland, Play Wales, Play England, and we're also an ECB approved system supplier for non-turf practice and match play cricket facilities. We're SAPCA members. We're official partners to England Hockey, to Hockey Wales. We partner with the FIH for their Hockey Academy. And we're also partners to Great Britain Hockey during Olympic years. I mentioned earlier that we provide a funding solution we call Fast Track Funding. It's now been used at over 46 different projects, mainly sport, but with some playground projects in there as well. And it's used by the education sector. It allows you to spread the cost of the project over a period of up to seven years, making what could be a large capital investment far more affordable. So your first question is probably, what is Child's Play? Child's Play is an impact absorbing play system to go into playgrounds underneath play equipment as an alternative to what might be regarded as a more traditional rubberized playground surface. It's been used since 1984 across the whole of the UK and further afield through our export department in places such as Central Park in Manhattan. Before we get into the detail of what Child's Play systems are actually made from, it might be of interest for us to just quickly run through the history of the product. Not Sport was established in 1984 and the first Child's Play systems were installed in Nottinghamshire in and around that time. Since then, playground standards, surfacing requirements, impact absorbency has all changed. So since 1984, the systems have evolved. In 2008, we launched what is now our playground systems using state-of-the-art expanded polypropylene playground surfacing systems. Expanded polypropylene brings around some fantastic benefits for shock absorbency, safety, and since 2008, the systems have been used at hundreds of different sites all around the world. So we know that they can work in any climatic conditions. Here in the UK, they've been installed across parks, playgrounds, and in schools on all different types of applications, some of which we'll go through in the following slides. So the surface has been around for nearly 40 years. It's been used in 40 different countries. So how is it used and where is it used? Well, there are four main applications for the surface. As you can see on the slide, it's a tactile and vibrant surface solution, and it's used as the surface for our underlying playground systems I've already mentioned, which encompass expanded polypropylene shock pads. So the first application is within playgrounds as an impact absorbing play system. There is also other applications it's been used for time and time again. It's fantastic as a general sports recreational surface, so ideal for things like multi-use games areas or what we call muggers. It can also be used to directly overlay existing playground surfacing like rubber wet pool or tiles and in that way it can be used as a visually stimulating playground surface bringing about play value and cost effectively. The final application that is often used is due to the benefit of its dense fibre network. So artificial grasses have a fibre network that's designed to hold the sand infill in place. The denser the product, the, the more the sand is held in place. Not sward, the surface of our child's play systems, has a really, really dense fibre network. 
And that means that the sand's held in place fantastically well, even on slopes. So one of the key uses that we see time and time again is on erosion control, on banks and on slopes, where natural turf doesn't take. I mentioned a moment ago that the surfacing systems have been used all around the world. Well, in order for us to do that, we have to get it tested to all the different standards that exist, both in Europe, America and further afield. Here are some examples of the standards that we have achieved and provide ongoing compliance to. The British and European standard, 1177, for European playgrounds. The ASTM standards are North American standards. TUV is another standard that we have to adhere to to supply into Germany. The reassurance for you as a customer is that the systems have been tested to all different standards all around the world under different climatic conditions and in different environments. That reassurance means that no matter where you are watching this video, you know the systems will be durable, long lasting and provide ongoing safety performance. So we spoke about some of the applications and how they're used around the world, but what are the systems that we actually offer and how are they built up? If you're looking for a solution that doesn't require any shock absorbency, then we use a system we call Charles Bay Recreation. This is our VAF not sward surface laid directly onto a prepared base. Now that prepared base could be a clean stone foundation, prepared and levelled to required standards by our specialist team of contractors. Or it could be overlaying an existing concrete or asphalt base. Either way, it will provide a fantastic surface solution for general recreation, a multi-use sport surface, or just to brighten up an otherwise grey, dark area. So that's if you don't need shock absorbency. If you do need shock absorbency, then we have different fall height systems to provide compliance to all the different standards that you need to have for your playgrounds in your part of the world. In the UK, we use systems ranging from 60 centimetres fall height all the way up to three metres. The first system, Charles Play 60, is our not sward surface laid directly onto a prepared stone base. Just doing that provides 60 centimetres critical fall height for low play equipment. Our next system is for playgrounds that require shock absorbency up to 1.2 metres or 120 centimetres. As you can see, all the playground system names are tied to the critical fall height that they achieve. So Charles Bay 90 or 120 provides a different fall height, 90 centimetres or 120 centimetres, depending on whether it's laid onto a stone base or a concrete or a tarmac base. Concrete and tarmac are slightly less shock absorbent, so we only get 90 centimetres when it's laid onto one of those. But if it's laid onto a stone base, we get 1.2 metres, hence how we can get it to 120 centimetres critical fall height. Ideal for low play equipment, spring animals, and other such playground equipment. Now you might recall that I mentioned that we use expanded polypropylene shock pads in our play systems. And you might be thinking, well so far I've not seen those yet. Well, this is where the EPP systems kick in to provide critical fall height from 170 centimeters right the way up to three meters. These systems are used under larger play equipment like swings or climbing frames or slides. The Charles Play 170 system, providing critical fall height compliance up to 1.7 meters, has one layer of expanded polypropylene, and the tile thickness is 40 millimeters, hence why we call it EPP40. These systems, because of the inherent shock absorbency of expanded polypropylene, can provide fall height compliance to the relevant height, in this case 170, whether it's laid on tarmac, asphalt, concrete or of stone. The following slides then illustrate how we increase the thickness of the tile and double layer it to provide critical fall height from 170 to 210 to 250 and then finally that three metre critical fall height for climbing walls and other high level play equipment. So we've got systems ranging from 60 centimetres critical fall height all the way up to three metres. We've shown that they are tested around the world to all different standards so that you know that they're going to provide ongoing safety performance regardless of climatic conditions and where you are in the world. But what are the benefits? The benefits of child's play and the not sword surface are various and numerous. If you're a customer looking for a durable surface with high resistance to vandalism, for example, then the child's play system is a proven solution. 
is used by city councils all around the UK, including, as we saw earlier, Glasgow City Council. One of the reasons is that the surface is very resistant to vandalism, graffiti and fire, while still providing a tactile and visually stimulating surface. If you're an architect or designer looking to incorporate play value into the surface using different colours, we have 15 options in our colour palette. That means that you can create the most visually stimulating playground surfacing for your project. I also mentioned that the surface can overlay existing playground surfacing like rubber wet pool or tiles. That means that we can introduce the surface as a cost effectively refurbishment option. This solution is used by councils and schools all around the UK time and time again and we'll work with you to design the surface so that it meets your specific requirements using different colours, shapes and patterns. As designers, the only limitation is your own imagination. Using 15 colours, you can incorporate shapes, patterns, designs, logos, anything you want into the surface and our skilled installers have the capacity and experience to meet every requirement. Some of which you can see in the following slides where we demonstrate where it's been used and how. One huge advantage that we know through on-site testing decades after installation is that the Charles Play systems with the expanded polypropylene tiles, that EPP solution I mentioned earlier, provides long-term critical fall height performance regardless of age. This means we're able to provide an unrivaled warranty for impact absorbency, well in excess of anything else on the market. So we've covered playground systems, we've covered overlaying existing surfacing, we've mentioned it being a sports surface. The final application that we mentioned right at the start of the presentation was as an erosion control surface. So the final benefit of the surface solution for your playground or other applications is that the surface is extremely durable. It can be installed on slopes, on mounds, it can create play value in and of itself, all of which is proven time and time again all around the world. Another benefit of the surface and playground systems is that it's tested in America to provide compliance for disability and accessibility for children of all abilities. That means anybody can access the playground and enjoy the value and benefits of play upon it. But more than anything else, Charles plays fun. You can design huge amounts of play value in the surface alone. Some concept playgrounds around the world have no play equipment and only use child's play to provide visually stimulating play value within the surface design itself. Here's some examples of playgrounds that we've done around the world. We've installed in Central Park, Manhattan. We've installed in Bryant Park in the city centre in Manhattan. A fantastic recent installation that we've completed in London is directly under the London Eye in Jubilee Park. I mentioned the surface and systems aren't just for playgrounds. Here's a fantastic example of a multi-use games area with really striking colour patterns and design incorporated into the surface solution. This is at Kings Heath Primary School in Birmingham. Here's another multi-use games area in Queen's Park, Glasgow. The versatility and durability of the surface mean it's ideal for open access multi-use games areas such as this. I mentioned a moment ago about disabled access. Well, Thunder Junction is an all abilities park in Utah. It's won countless awards since its completion. We work as design providers. We have a network of authorised installers, all of whom have been trained and certified by Not Sport. That means we can come out and visit you, talk about your project, put together an outline design and then invite a range of authorised installers to competitively price for the right to install your bespoke playground. We can even offer funding solutions through Fast Track Funding. We've delivered projects through Fast Track Funding in over 45 different schools. Now that covers sports projects, multi-use games areas and playgrounds and it means that you can deliver your dream project without any capital contribution and you can spread the cost of the project over seven years making a large play, multi-use games area project far more affordable. Our installers are certified to install the systems to meet all the standards that are needed. The surface design will be developed with you, so our installers will install the design 
as per all the pre-construction drawings. Upon completion of the project, our Charles Play area managers will visit to make sure that the area has been installed as you want it, but also to offer ongoing lifetime support and advice through the life of your playground area. So what are the next steps? The best thing to do is to contact one of our Charles Play managers. We can have a conversation about what you're looking to achieve and then arrange a site visit from which we can develop designs and solutions that meet your requirements in the short, medium and longer term. Here are those all important contact details so you can get in touch with us. We'd love to hear about your project and we're confident that we can meet all your requirements. So give us a call and start your project with Not Sport.